Hello, Miss Flatbed Red here. Those of you who have followed my channel for a while may be a little confused as to why this truck looks so funny, so a quick backstory for you. I went to LA for the first time in September 2023. The reason was to attend a YouTube event. I was only there four days, but I did about two weeks worth of activities in that short time. One of my Facebook followers slash customers knew I would be out there and said that he might be able to arrange a tour of a fireboat. I said, sure, if you can make that happen, awesome. Didn't really think much of it until I got a message saying they're expecting you at this time on Sunday afternoon. So I went from a four hour horse ride on Mount Hollywood to San Pedro where I got to tour this boat and go out on the harbor unexpectedly. It was just a surreal way to end my first trip. So a huge thank you to Mark for making it happen to all the firefighters at station 112. I was having so much fun with you guys, I was almost late to turn in my rental car. So without further ado, enjoy this tour of LAFD Fireboat 2, the Warner L. Lawrence. Is it a boat or a ship? Like what oh, do I even a say? A boat, it's okay. A tug design, and it has a Voight Snyder propulsion system. It gets you very maneuverable. It goes out a couple of times a week. A week, okay. Yeah, uh -huh. So anything that happens on land, we do on the water or adjacent to the water. My or first time seeing the Pacific Ocean, standing right here. <laughs> the breakwater is way mm -hmm. out there. That's beyond our demarcation line mm -hmm. between the inland waters and. I'm still going to count this right now. Okay. <laughs> it's connected. How many people are on board? We have a total of eight okay. firefighters that are on board. We have two engineers for all the pumping operations. We have a mate that runs a deck and we have three firefighters and one is a paramedic everybody is still a firefighter mm -hmm. but there is a promotional positions for the pilot and the mate as far as testing with the fire department for those marine positions mm -hmm. and everything else is job seniority and training i didn't that. know if people would like come here from a few years in the navy or something or not people so much people have but mm -hmm. everything on la city fire Everybody starts off as a firefighter, and then we have so many different fields in Mark. They just send you somewhere, basically. Or you put in. Okay. Everything you put in for. How old is this boat? It was built in 2003. And it just went in for a major dry docking. We've had it about a year and a half. So for my truck people, we can say it's been restored, right? <laughs> Freshly restored. Yes. Yeah. When I talked with Mark, but we're still having issues. Just like a fire engine or a fire truck, all the equipment that this is our equipment room. And behind all these screens, because we do go out in the ocean and we do rock, and so it keeps everything secure. So, but we have all the hose and equipment just like all the other fire engines and fire trucks. Just a little bit more of it, it looks like. Yes. Roll up door. Go down to our app deck. Because anything incident wise in the harbor, we're going to go backwards. And you will see when we go up to the pilot how we have two steering stations forward and aft. So we travel backwards. This is where all our equipment is manifolds, hydrants, crane, as far as any kind of firefighting, dewatering. How. How high does the crane go? 50 feet. Okay. And how much did you say this whole entire boat weighs? 457 tons. Rescue platform, because you sit so high off the water trying to pull somebody out of the water. This flips down and lowers to the water so that you get people out of the water. A lift gate for you truckers. <laughs> Crane is adapted also to launch our skiff. Couples to all our fire engines so we could act like a fire hydrant or the smaller two and a half we supply firefighting lines. And then further behind those red cards, we have eductor hose as far as boats that are sinking or fires. So you put water on a vessel, 
got to take water off or it sinks. So dewater. This is probably a stupid question. Yeah, there's no stupid question. Given all the water out here, uh -huh. do you just like pump it up? Yep. Out of there? Yep. Okay. <laughs> yep. All our fire, we've got six fire pumps. We'll talk about them when we go down below. Okay. But we have six fire pumps that pump directly out of the ocean. Wow. All right. And we do carry 500 gallons of fresh water also. I was wondering if does salt water have any effect on anything oh, different? A little bit, but Not fire fight is cooling. Mm -hmm. yep. So, great the steam to cool the fire. So on the boat, too, that are at the water level, so we can squirt up underneath. That's just a turret. We have, oh geez, 12, 13 turrets on the boat and all operated up in from the pilot house. Oh, so the photo I saw with everything just spouting water out is coming out of these. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. Fueling station, we take out fuel and we can pump off fuel. So if we need to fill up our other fire boats at a major incident, we can do that too at the same time. How Very many places like this are there dotted around LA? Are there other fire boats like this? Yes, we have a total of five, five fire boats and we have four stations. Okay. Fire station 49 has two. So we got two large boats like this and we've got three small boats. And our small boats are 40 foot. How long is this one? 105. 105, all right. Our large turret. Puts out 11,000 GPM. I assume these are all computerized or something? Are they operated from? Joysticks up in wow. the pilot house. Nice. Capstans is here. It's just a big drum capstan. So we can pull on lines. Containers as far as the eye can see. This goes out a couple of times a week. Does it also go out for training or anything? Yes. Like uh, incident-wise, like an emergency response a couple of times. Mm -hmm. We went out twice yesterday on emergency responses. Shoot, changing out the wiper blades would be fun. I know, <laughs> true. So 11,000 GPM, the two up top do 5,500 GPM. So we put out 38,000 GPM. With all 12 of them running yes. at once? Yes, This has a reach of 600 feet. So I assume that's the most powerful of all. Yes, of them. and then the ones up top have a reach of 420. So basically we can sit in the main channel and hit both sides of this channel. Anywhere in the port mm -hmm. and we do incidents offshore. How fast does something like this go? We draw 14 and a half feet, so we displace a lot of water, so our max speed is 13 knots. Okay, what, what's that in miles per hour, roughly? Any idea? The difference is a 1.12. Okay, so it's not, real close, yeah. Not much different. Okay. What the heck was that? I was thinking that was the Iowa. They will shoot off. Oh my gosh! Our skiff, utility skiff, and then our crane with the basket. So is this to go like... Any kind of utility, transfer personnel, equipment, typically.
around the engine room? Sure. Everything's insulated. Wow. <laughs> See, the biggest engine I've talked about in one of my videos is a 16V Detroit. So it's a, a little bit bigger right here. So, two drive engines that for both the Void Snyder systems that sit forward, and then they have pumps aft of them. And then we have two pump engines with pumps fore and aft. So, the aft ones are direct drive, and the forward ones are clutched in, just like on the drive engine, the pumps are clutched in. We have different water systems on the boats that operate go to different turrets so mm -hmm. each one operates a different system okay and they're all color coded but so we know which ones are which so we carry 16,230 gallons of fuel 6,000 gallons of foam and 500 gallons of fresh water 300 gallons of lube oil can't take this in for a 30 minute oil change <laughs> <laughs> are two foam storage tanks hydraulic system for our crane and our capstan and our underwars nozzles this is our drive systems that's all white snyder propulsion system so each one direct drive into them as soon as you turn they have a by, uh, five blades on each uh, system and they start turning. And then we change the pitch of the blades. And when we go up to the pilot house, we have a wheel and sticks that control it. So it's all mechanical linkage coming down to the ramps that actually change the pitch of the blades. And people think uh, two transmission sticks are complicated. <laughs> So each blade's the size of me, six feet. And they're always spinning and we just change the pitch of the blades. Are those harnesses for going around and working on things over there? Those are, we have two engineers on board. So those are our breather apparatus in case. Oh, I didn't see yes. that. Yes. Fresh water, water heater, hydro forte, HVAC system. So, electrical panel. We have ship runs off of 460 power, and we have two uh, generators. This is our ship power. There it is in action, right? Yes. We just have a couple of boats down here. We have a 
day ahead shower, but it's more of a storage area. I see that. <laughs> High expansion foam generators in case we get like a ship fire within the engine room. So we'll flood those spaces instead of going down into them. So when we talked about different color systems, you'll probably see it up there. It shows the two pumps, the two drive engines, drive engine supply, everything is the green system on the right side. Port side is the red color is a red and then blue does all the Oops. other blue turrets and marks with turrets and everything in the red and green is foam capable since we carry 6,000 gallons of foam. Goodness. So it sticks for all the turrets in this direction. In fact, we have the turret or the joysticks for everything in that direction. So would you have two people working in this? Yeah, two engineers. Okay. Yes. Okay. So you probably saw the picture with us squirting water up in the middle of the air where we're operating everything. Yeah, we'll have both engineers up here. But actually, at uh, fire, it's going to be one direction or the other. And eight people on board. Yes. Buttons control the speed of the engines. So the wheel and the sticks control the pitch of the blades. And the radar system, radios, flur. Tense binoculars. <laughs> Image stabilizing. Okay. So when you're moving, it slows down the movement. The engineer is over here, two pump engine LOPs, and all the buttons that operate all the pumps and valves for the turrets all the water. Makes me think of arcade games. <laughs> mm -hmm. Joysticks and colored buttons. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where is it? The blue system? Or is all ah, the two pump so engines? So the colors correspond. Green is typically starboard side. Red is port side. And these are all the drive engines that are foam cable. So he'll op the engineer operates the valves, and I'm operating the engine of the drive engines. So now these turrets, these are the joysticks that operate everything in this direction except for the pilot house, which can be operated either side. So I said down on the deck, or down at the water level, was our underwater. So we have nozzles down at the water level that can squirt underneath huh. the wharfs. So, so for the most part, this is the same layout as the other side. Difficult yes. respiration. Engine 112, rescue 101. New section. 12, in this side, we add a white system. Off the blue, there's a crossover valve that operates our hand lines that come off the back, which also do our dewatering. All the windows, real good visibility. Yeah. So our captain is usually here with all the radios running in an incident. So he's here with the radios, chart, our MDC, our incident information. So when you are saying, there's the USS Iowa, which we're right next door to. Mm -hmm. LA Light is here. So I can't see it. I'm seeing like. Yeah, so we were coming, looking down right in here.
and all of this is shipping containers. Yes, so this is LA Light. This is Angel's Gate. It goes into LA. Once you get through here, it's now Long Beach. And this is all Long Beach going out to Queens Gate. And is this the break? That's oh, break the breakwater. Break That's the middle breakwater and both sides of the breakwater. How did you start on the path of becoming a firefighter? Just always wanted to be yeah. a firefighter from a young age. Mm -hmm. And then my career path led me in that direction. I ended up working with an ambulance company. I worked with the U.S. Forest Service on a hand crew and then got hired by the L.A. City Fire. Did you go to college for anything related? Just to fire this? science courses. Okay. Yes. Now, every to be a chief on our department, you need a bachelor's degree. So, I didn't know fire sciences was even something. I know, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there are, there's a bunch of classes in fire. Uh -huh. yes. So what sort of degree would someone in any kind of degree? Anything. Okay. Yes. All right. Yes. This boat um, was commissioned in 2003. 2003. Did it replace a boat, I assume? That was built in 1925. And what? Went to 2003. Oh my goodness. And it's a historical landmark and it's in a white tent in the parking lot just out behind our station. So I can go out and look at it. Unfortunately, oh, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, our retired historical guys who meet once a week, usually on Fridays, uh -huh. open it up. Awesome. And then it's open on like when we have fleet week. Or, mm -hmm an open house or something. And I imagine it's significantly smaller than this. It's yeah. nine, it was, it is uh, 99 feet long and 18 feet wide. So it actually was in, the, this house was built in 1995. So it was in here for yes. a while. Yes. Okay. So, and nothing was modified. It was in this slip. 1925. Yes. That's crazy. So was a lot of it made of wood? Was that No, not it so was steel. Yeah, it was rivet. It wasn't welded. It was rivet. Old school. Oh, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Yep. California fire station surfboards. How do those come into into use? How do you? I mean, you just told me. But I didn't just say it. <laughs> oh, the the paddle boards. Okay. Yes. The, okay. Yes. Our surfboards. surfboards. Yes. <laughs> They're actually yes paddle boards to rescue people in areas that we on the fireboat can't get into. So if it's shallow water, we draw 14 and a half. I'm not going into something that's less than 15, 16 feet of water. And our shallower areas, and then up underneath the wharfs. So this whole port all has wharfs like this where people will get stuck underneath. We'd have to swim under something. And then either pull them up on there with you yes. or grab on and, yes. uh-huh. So like back there, how deep would the water be? Like over against so where the rocks are? So it's going all the way up. Okay. Yes. Where you see the rocks, that's called the rip wrap, and that's sloping down all the way down to the bottom. So right below us right now, really far, I assume. Pretty no, darn far, no? Uh, probably about, we're 14 and a half feet, and I'm probably guessing probably right now we're probably seven feet of water underneath us.
So today I will have been on, in a car, on a horse, on a boat, on an airplane. Up there you'll see the 27-inch Dynaflex exhausts. <laughs> 